All right, this is the third video from this worksheet on uh, function graph analysis. And actually, the function graph analysis part is really over. This final video is going to be on evaluating functions. And this is really review for you guys. You need to d be able to do it by hand without using a calculator. So, for example, just make this a little bit bigger. If I want to va evaluate h at 4, first of all, that means I have to use function h. Okay, so you know function h looks like this. It's negative x squared. Notice my use of parentheses. Okay, negative x squared plus 3. So anytime I'm going to substitute for a variable, I always start by writing the function with parentheses in place of the variable. You should do the same. So if I want to evaluate at 4, I put a little 4 in there. Now if I'm doing this by hand, then I have to realize that I'm going to square this first. So 4 squared. It's really not negative 4 squared. Okay, It's just 4 squared. And 4 squared is 16. Then the negative sign just comes right down. So I've got negative 16 plus 3. That's going to be negative 13. Okay, that is the answer. Sometimes you'll see the answer written as an ordered pair like this. Okay. Um, now, if I am foolish enough to let you use your TI-30 XS multi-view, then you better go ahead and use it. Function H is negative X squared plus 3. So, um, one thing you could do is you could use your table function, okay, and just put negative x squared plus 3. Then hit enter. Alright, if we're supposed to be evaluating at 4, then uh, we could just type in a 4 as the start value. Hit enter 4 times. And there we see at x value of 4, the y value is negative 13. Okay, so in many cases, that's going to be the safest thing to do. Um, okay, number 27, g at 3. Now, you have to be able to do it by hand. Okay, so uh, this function refers to function g, so we uh, focus our eyes on function g. Now, once again, when I'm going to substitute for a variable, I'm going to start by writing the function with parentheses instead of a variable. So 2x squared becomes 2 parentheses squared. 4x becomes 4 parentheses and minus 10. That gives me a nice place to substitute this 3 into. So I'll put a 3 here, put a 3 here. I can do this by hand, don't you know? Uh, you square it first, so this would be 2 times 9. All right, plus 4 times 3 minus 10. Now I can do all my multiplication. So 2 times 9, that's 18. 4 times 3, that's 12. Okay, um, 18 plus 12, that's 30. All right, now 30 minus 10, that's 20. So your answer is 20. As an ordered pair, this would look like 3 comma 20. So um, how would I use my calculator to do this, you say? I'm glad you asked. Okay, so we hit that table function. Clear that out. We had the function 2x squared, I say squared, uh, plus 4x, what was the rest? Minus 10. Hit enter. Now we want to evaluate at 3, so we can just uh, tell it to start at 3. Hit enter four times. So at an x value of three, the y value is 20, just like we said. Okay, so that was number 26, 27. All right, here's number 28. Um, we're back to using function uh, f. Well, not back to it, I guess we haven't used it yet. So function f. Function f is this one. Okay, 3x squared minus 4x. All 
Okay, so this will become 3 times parentheses squared minus 4 times parentheses. Let me just double check. 3x squared minus 4x, all right? 3x parentheses minus 4 parentheses. And inside, we have to evaluate at negative 1. Okay, again, we square it first. Exponents come before multiplication. So negative 1 squared is positive 1. Now I will do my multiplication. All right, 3 times 1 is 3. Negative 4 times negative 1 is positive 4. Together, that makes 7. As an ordered pair, we're talking about negative 1 comma 7. OK, in a calculator, 3x squared minus 4x. OK, 3x squared minus 4x. Enter. We want to evaluate this one um, at negative 1. So we can just tell it to start at negative 1. Hit enter four times. And at negative 1, we have 7. And we had 7. So we did it right both times. OK, let's take a look at number 29. Um, g of negative 2. So we're back to using function g, just like up here. So again, function g was 2x squared plus 4x minus 10. So that's going to be, OK, that's going to be 2 parentheses squared minus 4 parentheses minus 10. Wait, plus 4, plus 4x minus 10. And I'm supposed to evaluate at negative 2. All right, we're going to square it before we multiply it. So. If we do negative 2 squared, that's positive 4. OK, so I'm going to have 2 times positive 4. Now I'll do all the multiplication. So 2 times 4 is 8. Um, 4 times negative 2 is negative 8 minus 10. OK, 8 minus 8, that's 0. So 0 minus 10 is just negative 10. As an ordered pair, you might see negative 2 comma negative 10. OK, in the calculator, um, I keep forgetting. So function g is 2x squared plus 4x minus 10. OK, there it is. Hit Enter. Um, we're supposed to evaluate at negative 2. So I can just have it start at negative 2. Hit Enter four times. At negative 2, the y value is negative 10, which is what we got. OK, number 30. All right, we're using function h. OK, function h was negative x squared plus 3. OK, so I'm going to do negative parentheses squared plus 3. So if I'm going to evaluate this at negative 1, uh, remember, I've got to square it first and then apply the negative sign. Um, so if I square this first, I'm going to get um, positive 1. All right, so I've still got this negative sign and the plus 3. Okay, so this is just negative 1 plus 3, which is 2. Okay, so this was negative x squared plus 3. So I could use the calculator. Negative x squared plus 3. And we're supposed to evaluate at negative 1. 
So I could start at negative 1. So at negative 1, the answer is 2. And that's what we got. OK, is this the last problem? This looks like it's the last problem. All right, so last but not least, number 31. Um, the function f. Let's go find it. All right, f was 3x squared minus 4x. Okay, so um, the function is 3x squared minus 4x. So this is going to become 3 times parentheses squared minus 4 times parentheses. And we're supposed to evaluate this at 10. So you have to square it before you multiply it. So 10 squared is 100. All right, so this gives us 3 times 100 minus 4 times 10. I don't like that 10. Let me try again. OK, now I will do my multiplication. 3 times 100 is 300. Negative 4 times 10 is negative 40. 300 minus 40 is 260. You will sometimes see this written as an ordered pair in the form x comma y, so 10 comma 260. OK, um, if I were to use a calculator, 3x squared minus 4x, table button. OK, so 3x squared minus 4x. Whoa, let me start over. 3x squared uh, minus 4x. Is that right? OK. Hit Enter. We're trying to evaluate at 10. So I can tell it to start at 10. Hit Enter four times. So at 10, the y value is 260. That confirms our answer of 260. OK. That is it my friends that was the last problem so i hope this video was helpful to you and i will see you on the next video